Star. I've been wrestling for nearly my entire life since I was seven years old and I've been a professional wrestler for almost six years. In those six years, I've been very fortunate for professional wrestling to be very nice to me. I've wrestled on four continents, more than half of the states in the US, uh, 11 different countries. I've wrestled for some of the top promotions in the world and wrestled some of the top talents in the world. Uh, I've been living off of professional wrestling for the past two and a half years. And in my travels, I've done many interviews, podcasts, for YouTube, I've done interviews for magazines and things of that nature, and they always ask me the same question. And that question is, uh, who would be, who would be your dream match? And I've answered it a million different ways. I could think of anybody living or deceased, and then I would try and narrow it down to being realistic. And then over the past six months, I've been thinking as to who I really, really want to wrestle. It came to me pretty easily. That person is Mike Quackenbush. Now, Mike, I know that you only have a few matches left in you. You've said it openly. You've said that you're limiting yourself. You've said that you're not going to put your foot all the way down on the gas pedal. And I'm asking you, make me one of your last matches. I respect your mind. I respect your talent. I respect your ability. And I want to prove myself one-on-one -on -one in a professional wrestling ring against Lightning Mike Quackenbush. All right, David. Let's do it. At Joey Janela's Spring Break 2, Mike Quackenbush goes one-on-one -on -one with David Starr. 